Welcome to Maximum Code. In this tutorial, we're exploring the fascinating world of large language models, or LLMs. Whether you're a beginner or just curious about AI, this video is for you. In the next few sections, we're going to unpack what LLMs really are, why they're revolutionary, and how they're shaping the future of artificial intelligence. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. A large language model is essentially a neural network trained to understand and generate human-like text. For instance, the ChatGPT series by OpenAI features models with varying sizes, capable of handling diverse tasks and queries. These models consist of two main components, a parameters file, which contains the weights of the model, and a code file, which contains the logic and architecture necessary to use these uh, weights for generating text. Together, these components enable the model to function and produce coherent, contextually relevant responses. Large language models, LLMs, are trained using a technique called next word prediction. This involves predicting the next word in a sequence based on the preceding text without understanding the current reality. For example, given the input the weather today is, uh, the model might predict sunny or rainy based on common patterns it has learned, but it doesn't actually know what the weather is right now. It simply predicts the most likely next word in the sequence based on its training data. Training these models involves processing vast amounts of text data using powerful hardware such as GPU clusters. For instance, training a large-scale language model like ChatGPT requires thousands of GPUs operating over several days, resulting in substantial computational costs often amounting to millions of dollars. This intensive process allows the model to learn complex patterns and structures from the data, ultimately encoding this knowledge into a set of parameters. These parameters form the core of the model's ability to generate meaningful and contextually appropriate responses to various inputs. After the initial training, the model becomes a foundation model. This foundational version is capable of completing text and generating coherent content based on a wide range of general knowledge. To specialize the foundation model in specific tasks, a process called fine-tuning is employed. Fine-tuning involves further training the model on high-quality task-specific data, such as question and answer pairs. This additional training transforms the model from a general-purpose text generator into a specialized assistant capable of providing precise and accurate responses in specific domains, such as customer support, medical advice, or technical troubleshooting. This process ensures that the model not only understands the nuances of specialized topics, but also delivers more relevant and useful information tailored to particular use cases. Once a model is fine-tuned, it unlocks a wide array of applications and use cases across various industries. Let's explore three prominent use cases. In the realm of customer support, fine-tuned LLMs can be integrated into systems to provide instant and accurate responses to customer inquiries. They can handle questions about account issues, product information, and troubleshooting, significantly reducing the workload on human agents and improving response times. For example, when a customer asks, how can I reset my password? The LLM can provide a step-by-step -step guide, enhancing the customer experience by offering immediate assistance. Content creation is another area where LLMs shine. Content creators can leverage these models to generate high-quality articles, blog posts, marketing copy, and social media content. These models can produce text that aligns perfectly with the desired tone and style enabling creators to quickly produce engaging content. Imagine a blogger who uses an LLM to draft an article about the latest tech trends. The result is informative and well-structured content that saves the blogger significant time and effort. In the healthcare industry, LLMs offer substantial benefits as well. They can assist in diagnosing conditions, providing medical information, and offering support for mental health. By analyzing patient symptoms, LLMs can suggest possible conditions, or provide detailed information on medications and treatments. For instance, a patient might describe their symptoms to the LLM, which then suggests possible conditions to discuss with their doctor, helping the patient understand their symptoms better and facilitating a more informed discussion with healthcare professionals. In summary, fine-tuned LLMs offer vast potential across various sectors. 
their ability to understand and generate human-like text opens up numerous possibilities, making them invaluable tools in both professional and personal contexts. As the technology continues to advance, we can expect even more innovative applications and use cases for these powerful models. The future of large language models, LLMs, holds exciting advancements. Researchers are focused on improving model architectures for better performance and efficiency. Multimodal models will enable LLMs to handle text, images, audio, and video, enhancing interactions. Efficiency techniques like distillation and pruning will make powerful models accessible on devices like smartphones. Ethical AI research aims to mitigate biases and ensure fair operation. Personalization will allow LLMs to better adapt to individual preferences, enhancing user experiences. Combining LLMs with other AI technologies like reinforcement learning will create more versatile and powerful systems. In summary, future advancements in LLMs promise to revolutionize interactions with AI, making them more efficient, fair, and personalized. While large language models, LLMs, offer numerous benefits, they also come with significant challenges and security concerns. One major issue is the potential for bias in the models, as they can inadvertently learn and propagate biases present in the training data. This can lead to unfair or discriminatory outcomes in applications. Another concern is data privacy. LLMs require vast amounts of data for training, which can include sensitive information, ensuring that these models handle data responsibly and comply with privacy regulations is critical. Security risks also include adversarial attacks where malicious inputs are designed to deceive or manipulate the model. These attacks can lead to incorrect or harmful outputs posing risks in critical applications. Additionally, there is the challenge of model interpretability. Understanding how LLMs make decisions is often difficult, which can hinder trust and accountability. In summary, addressing bias, ensuring data privacy, mitigating adversarial attacks, and improving model interpretability are crucial for the safe and ethical use of LLMs. Let's explore using LLMs like ChatGPT, Claude, and local LLMs. These models offer powerful capabilities for various applications. ChatGPT by OpenAI and Claude by Anthropic are popular LLMs accessible via APIs. They excel in customer support, content creation, and personal assistance, offering high performance and easy integration. Local LLMs run on your hardware, providing greater control over data privacy and customization. These are ideal for organizations with specific needs, but require significant technical expertise and powerful hardware to set up and maintain. Closed models like ChatGPT and Claude provide high performance and easy integration, but come with privacy concerns, reliance on external providers, and ongoing costs. Local models offer full control and customization without API costs, but may lag in performance and require substantial technical resources. Now let's discuss LM Studio and Olama, two powerful tools for running local large language models. And if don't want to use these tools, then you run the model locally by using GenAI to run Microsoft's Pi 3. To work with these tools, you simply download and install the software from their official websites. Once installed, you can access model repositories to download and configure the models that fit your needs. Both platforms offer intuitive interfaces for testing models, inputting data, and viewing results in real time ensuring a smooth and user-friendly experience. Let's go through the steps to use LM Studio for running a local large language model. We will cover searching for a model, downloading it, loading the model, querying the model, and running it as in server. Open LM Studio and navigate to the model repository. Here you can browse through various available models. Use the search function to find a model that suits your needs. For example, you might search for a model optimized for customer support or content creation. Once you've found the model you want to use, click on the download button. If you are not sure, download and install Mistral Instruct version 3. LM Studio will handle the download and installation process. Ensure you have enough storage space and a stable internet connection as models can be large in size. Now before downloading, you will notice that there are a lot of options for the model. Each vary in size. The models have been reduced using a process called quantization. Quantization is a technique used to reduce the size and computational requirements 
of large language models by converting their weights from high precision to lower precision formats. This process helps in making models more efficient, allowing them to run faster and use less memory without significantly sacrificing performance. If the quantization is very low, then you will notice some degradation in performance. After the model is downloaded, navigate to the Models section in LM Studio. Select the model you just downloaded and click on Load Model. LM Studio will initialize the model and prepare it for use. With the model loaded, you can start querying it. Go to the Chat or Query section in LM Studio. Enter your prompt in the input box and click Send or Query. The model will process your input and generate a response. You can use this feature to test the model's capabilities and see how it performs on different tasks. To integrate the model into your applications, you can run it as an API. Navigate to the local server section in LM Studio and click on Start Server. LM Studio will provide you with an endpoint URL. Now you can use the server to make requests using C Sharp and getting a response back. In this example, we are using HTTP Client to make the request and get the response. Using Olama is similar to LM Studio with some differences in installation, accessing via an API, and querying the model. Here's a quick guide on how to get started with Olama. First, navigate to the Olama website and download the appropriate installer for your operating system. Once downloaded and installed, you can interact with the tool. In this scenario, I'll be using WSL running Ubuntu. Olama is primarily a command line tool, but you can use a front-end interface. And at a later tutorial, we will do a deep dive on the tools uh, showcasing here. For now, we will use the command line. To download a model for Olama, browse their model library on the website. Once you find a model you want to use, select the command line option and copy the provided command. Execute this command in the Olama command line. If the model is not already installed, Olama will download and run it. You can then chat with the model directly from the command line. To access the API for Olama, you can start the server by running Olama serve. This command will launch the server, allowing you to interact with the model via the API. You can now send HTTP requests to the server to query the model. By following these steps, you can easily set up and interact with LLMs using Olama, leveraging both command line and API interfaces. To integrate advanced AI capabilities into your applications, you can now send requests to the model using HTTP Client and C Sharp and receive responses programmatically, enabling you to integrate the model's capabilities into your software solutions seamlessly. In this tutorial, we've explored the fascinating world of large language model, from understanding what they are and how they work, to the future advancements and security challenges they face. We've discussed how to use popular models like ChatGPT and Claude, as well as local models through tools like LM Studio and Olama. We've also touched on important concepts like fine tuning, quantization, and deploying models via APIs. Whether you're running models on powerful GPUs or standard CPUs, you now have the knowledge to effectively leverage LLMs for a wide range of applications. With these tools and techniques, you're ready to harness the power of AI in your own projects. Coming up next, we'll take a deep dive into LM Studio, Olama, and Microsoft's Gen AI. We'll explore how to load ONX models and create a simple chat system. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with the latest tutorials. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Your support helps us bring you more great content. We'll see you in the next tutorial.